Don't give up on activism. There are too many needs to be met, too much work to be done. Like Dr. King said, we must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. You know, this work is not easy. It's hard and it's, and it's long. You know, we're dealing with issues that are generational. The fact that Mark Ridley Thomas is able to instill hope in people and, and get people thinking about what if, right? And reminding us that it may take a while, but it's always possible. And we should never lo lose hope in making sure that we continue to stay vigilant in this work. Perhaps the most powerful influence in my life is my grandmother, who made a pretty significant investment in me uh, from the time that my mother passed in the mid-60s. And uh, the best of who I am is in no small measure attributable to what she deposited into my life. The first campaign in 80 seven for the school board she was there and she got on the telephone the rotary phone and, and dialed be, be mindful of the fact she was unsighted she was blind and she would call everyone she knew and say can you help my grandson past 40 years, I've had a conversation partner in the person of Cornell West, and I find that to be stimulating, fulfilling, and helps me do what I need to do. Oh, yeah. That's why the folks call me up on the radio, TV, and say, oh, Brother West, we want your endorsement. No, endorsement's too weak. This is a wholesale, unequivocal affirmation of who he is as a human being, committed to unconditional truth and unconditional love, and politics is just the vehicle for it. That's the kind of, that's the kind of state person we need. When I first walked into the boardroom to be sworn in, I had four colleagues, two of whom had opposed me, and Everyone there had roughly a 16 year plus advantage. So day two, I was out at that hospital saying that I'm rolling up my sleeves and something's going to happen. Today we are renewing our covenant with this community that we will rebuild like never before. Today we witness the steady progress in our effort to open a new medical center. I think that one of the most wonderful aspects of this hospital is that from the beginning, he envisioned it and we envisioned it as a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. So beyond the fact that we are saving lives and we are healing and we're comforting people, we're also a symbol that this community matters and that this community deserves something first class. You know, when he works with the, with the community, it's about listening to them and understanding what the needs are. And he heard loud and clear, healthcare is important but it's not just, it's not the only thing that impacts the community. The hospital was built with the design that it wouldn't just be that hospital, that there would be the, an entire redesign of the ecosystem over in that area. It's been 13 years since graduate medical education last existed in South Los Angeles. If you want doctors to work in a community, you need to train them in a community. What's most impressive about Supervisor Ridley Thomas is that he combines hope with capability. So he's got the vision, but he also has made it happen. 
The subject was economic opportunity in LA County's second district, and the message was clear. I have three objectives that I wish to accomplish uh, as a public official. First is jobs, the second is jobs, and what do you think the third is? There you go, you pass. We have shared an adage as part of this economic development we see going on in uh, the second supervisorial district that either you go big or you stay home. There is no shortcutting what we need in our communities. To, to look across the second district and see these major sports venues, you know, not as, as furthering just community spirit, but also these are venues that provide jobs and economic opportunity. I think it all comes down to how has he, using, you know, his knowledge, his experience at all levels of government, um, recognizing the important role that government can play in furthering economic opportunity, and providing a pathway for all to participate in the, the, the positive things that drive our region forward. In life sciences and healthcare, uh, you know, Mr. Ridley Thomas uh, found a significant potential in Los Angeles. And I'm a physician, and uh, people call me inventor, but right now I'm a small entrepreneur. He um, came to me as friend, and he also promised me that he's going to help us so that we can achieve our goal in helping uh, our neighbors. Put your war clothes on and get ready to fight. You've got to be ready to fight to end homelessness in the county of Los Angeles. This is an army for good, an army that is fighting uh, the injustices of poverty and the indignities of homelessness. The people of this county, after already having taxed themselves just not quite six months earlier, said we will embrace Measure H because homelessness in the county of Los Angeles is simply intolerable. He has been somebody that you can rely on to keep you know, this issue in the forefront um, and to find the hopeful wins that we have along the way. I think there's a lot of wins that he um, has been able to demonstrate can be done and that we can scale up and become part of the system that solves homelessness. He truly brings, you know, not only decades of experience and leadership, but he brings that, that informed passion. Mark Ridley Thomas, as a direct result of his work, has switched the paradigm. Homelessness used to be those people or them. Now our verbiage has changed into our homeless neighbors or people experiencing homelessness. Because of Measure H, we changed the way we thought and met people at their encampments, met people at their tents, met people at the bus stops. Got a warm spot in my heart for this man. You gotta love the arts. It's, it's a way of life. Um, we can't move through the world without the arts as a part of who we are because it allows us to get to know ourselves, it allows us to get to know others, and there's so many transferable skills from if you study the arts. Hearing that Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas authored the first ever uh, motion to move the LA County Arts Commission into becoming an actual department for the arts in Los Angeles was one of the most exciting things that I have heard in a long time. <laughs> Thank you.
big, big, big dreams for this uh, spot. Uh, we believe it can become the cultural center that has uh, much more to offer uh, than we can articulate at this very moment. And this is what this community needs and deserves and is here for you to take full advantage of. We have our superhero, our superman, and supervisor, Mark Ridley Thomas, who always does what he says he's going to do. In the midst of a global pandemic and civil unrest that has touched every corner of the country, including ours here in Los Angeles County, we find ourselves in a moment of unprecedented consequence. It requires us to confront enduring forms of racial discrimination deeply embedded in our own institutions. It is simply not enough to declare that racism is bad. Change requires change. I have just signed a proclamation declaring the existence of a local emergency. I want to reiterate that this is not a response rooted in panic. The notion of resilience is precisely that. It's real. And there is a sense in which people are challenged, but not beaten down completely. And if nothing more, it seems to me, COVID-19 has confronted us anew with that reality. But sometimes hope just pushes its way forward. You know, he clearly, you know, knows that there's always going to be a brighter path. And I think, you know, that's the hope within him. That's the hope within all of us. Part of his legacy is that he has left us with the intention and the heart of hope. We can look at hundreds, at this point, thousands of individuals who have been directly affected by Mark Ridley Thomas's work as supervisor. By Measure H, you're looking at one of them. I think his legacy is going to be sort of demonstrating resilience and perseverance for those who take on the tough problems. You know, these are the generational problems that we've worked ourselves into and that we need to work really hard to work ourselves out of before they become our grandchildren's problems. It's exciting to think about that this isn't the end for Mark Ridley Thomas, that this is really just getting ready for the next chapter of how he's gonna support Los Angeles. I just wanna say thank you for the opportunity to serve. Thank you for the opportunity to lead. Thank you for the opportunity to listen. And for that, our collective legacy will never be forgotten. God bless you.